Are you ready to learn the differences between ChatGPT and Google Gemini when it comes to using it for marketing in your business? Now, as of today, literally a few hours before I hit record, is I saw that Google Bard is now Google Gemini. So I'm actually super excited to start trying it out with you guys. So I have not tried this out yet. And I basically have the prompts that I used from last year's video on how to use ChatGPT for marketing. And then we're gonna compare and contrast basically the output between the two of which one is better so to start off before anything else this is basically what google bard and chat gpt look like or what google gemini i'll probably have to get used to saying that uh this is gemini this is chat gpt has the same things where it has multiple prompts that you can use if you guys want to dive into more on how to get started with Google Bard or Google Gemini, I do have another video just on that of setting yourself up on it. But this one, we're just going to compare and contrast the two. So to start off, you're going to want to start with the woe method. So the woe method is basically when you're starting a thread or a new chat, whether it's in ChatGPT or whether it's on Gemini, you want to give it context of who you are and what you do and who you serve. O is the outcome that you need, asking it of are you ready or do you understand? And then the H is just the how. If you have a specific way that you want it to respond to you, you want to put it there. So here we'll have this very basic, very basic prompt that I've used a lot of time, which is basically, hi, I'm Leanne, you know, describing who I am and what I do. Uh, I run a full-time remote executive assistant agency, hire and train VA, so and so forth. So it gives, and I'm giving it again, just that context of who I am. So I like that here on Gemini, we have the who is your ideal client, what are current marketing channels, what strategies have you tried already, what is your budget for marketing, what are your key metrics for success? Versus like here, of course, it's just, uh, this is the thing that I've kind of seen with ChatGPT versus Gemini, is ChatGPT will just assume, basically. It won't ask more questions about what it is that you do. I'm not 100% sure which I do like better. I think it depends on what I'm trying to do and what I'm using it for, but that is the main thing. So first thing is I will answer a little bit of the questions that Gemini has put on here for us. Okay, so what I'll do as well is I've answered the questions from Bard to also give ChatGPT a fair chance is I'll paste the same thing that I just put into Bard or Gemini. I'll keep going back and forth, by the way, with that probably of like just saying between Bard and Gemini. Um, so there you go. So I, I added that information. So the thing that I do like is both of them have said, hey, there's a different thing so you can start doing. Um, based on what we asked. So that was basically your priming prompt. You're getting it ready for what it is you're gonna ask for. And of course, we already gave it the information that it needed. So the first thing that you can do using AI is to create your marketing strategy. If you're really starting from scratch and you have no idea where to start, you can use either basically that can give you information that you probably need to move forward. So I'll put here, can you develop a marketing strategy with the goal of high engagement for social media platforms and a call to action for audiences to take our scorecard? So for us, we have a scorecard basically to see if someone is ready to have an assistant or maybe they might be a little bit too early in the process. So here, see how both kind of responded. So you can see ChatGPT dove into the different platforms that we said uh, that we are using. So LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, and then YouTube content strategy, cross promotion. On here we have, you know, high engagement score up, sign up strategy for social media. We have the goal, the target audience, the content pillars, which is really nice. Um, the content formats that you can do, the call to action that you can put on there, community building, paid advertising, additional tips, and remember. So this is my favorite part, honestly, with Gemini, is they give additional tips or pieces of advice basically at the very end versus of course chat GPT is very straightforward um, it, it does sometimes put in a little bit like this but it's it's nice to see the output for both so now we already have kind of a strategy from both let's go ahead and ask it to create the ideal client profile so here I'll say beyond based on the strategy and what we do as a business can you create the ideal client profile so I gave it the current client profile that we have, but I also wanted basically just their own bar or Gemini's ideas or chat GPT's ideas. So we have the business type, size, industry, which is nice, remote work adoption. So it's ideal for us to have companies who have already adopted remote work, operation challenges, you know, what they're going through here on the demographics. So they had demographics, we have psychographics for them, and then additional details. So honestly, I like Gemini a little bit here on just the, the um, deep dive on the client profile. This is probably something 
that I could even just give to a marketing team um, already versus here it's kind of okay it's not as organized for lack of a better term like the the way that Gemini organized theirs a little bit better next is you can use either Gemini or ChatGPT when it comes to just planning out your content now we'll use this prompt of can you can you generate a list of daily content we can create and post based off of the strategy and target audience so let's see how each does it so this is funny and a little bit weird we have tip on monday post a tip tuesday um and on tuesday it's a different thing so that's that's a weird funny uh thing that we just saw there um you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday weekend nice uh and then here i do like I like ChatGPT a little bit more is we have the divided out basically per platform of Monday Motivation, Thought Leadership, Facebook content. These are the things that we can post. YouTube is this. So um, again, very nice from both. I kind of like both, but at the same time, I like that ChatGPT did dive in on the different platforms basically on what to post. Now, you can do this for the week. You can do this two weeks ahead. You can do this a month ahead. Just keep in mind that it is better to divide out. We can basically keep asking, can you plot out the content for the first week of March, second week, third week, fourth week. Every time, it'll just keep giving us more and more content to be able to do and create. I just wanted to do a week one just to show you guys how to be able to do it. Next is we'll ask it to create the draft of the copy for your social media or for your marketing. Now, note that I said the draft. It's not supposed to be for the full thing. It's not supposed to be a final draft where you're posted right on social media just straight off of ChatGPT and Gemini. You have to make it your own, personalize it as much as possible, be responsible. So I'm gonna put it here of, can you create a, an example copy for people to take our scorecard? So this is, by the way, I didn't give it the context of what our scorecard is about. So it, again, it's just a little bit assuming what the scorecard is. So here of headlines from Gemini, we have the body of it, we have the bonus. Uh, here, okay, here I like ChatGPT a little bit better because it already gave us what to post on LinkedIn, what to post on Facebook, what to post on YouTube. So it's giving us better context of what this is versus for Gemini, it just gave us like a headline and a body that we can put on a post and it's not even that clear. So I like ChatGPT a little bit on that. The next thing is something ChatGPT already technically did, which is you can ask Gemini or ChatGPT to go ahead and repurpose content for different platforms. So let me just ch edit this then of, can you repurpose the copy for Twitter and Instagram? So let's just do that. I'll do the same here. So this is a quick thing. If you're creating content already for one platform, of course, you can just use that for another platform. So here, ChatGPT already gave us the tweet that we can use and for Instagram post and Instagram story, which is again, a really nice detail. From Gemini, it's not super clear. And it's funny because it put in two things and the headline and body and then Instagram is image and then captured, which is nice. Um, and then of course we have additional tips from it. So again, ChatGPT content wise is still the winner here. So that's really cool to also see kind of who kind of writes a little bit better. Honestly, I usually go with Gemini's responses just for the casualness of it, but more for the form of it, not the function, which is Gemini wins on the function, but the form of it, the way that ChatGPT gives you the response. Of course, you can train ChatGPT on how to write like you. I have a whole video on that of how to make it be your second brain. You can train both on just writing like you or writing as someone else. In fact, I'm going to do that a little quick of rewrite these as if you're Alex Hormozy. It's just the content uh, that I have on the top of my head. But you can do that with, with both, basically. You can ask it to write as you, you can trade it up, you can give it your content of how you write and ask it to write as you. Or you can ask it to write as an influencer that you like, you like the writing style. You can do that with both of the AIs. So here's a funny thing though. I've seen this happen a couple times using Bard. So when I asked rewrite these as if you're Alex Hermosi, I say rewrite above text so let's see if you can do it but here you can already see, see that it already kind of wrote out the way that quote-unquote Alex Ramosi would yeah we're stuck on Gemini so on repurposing on acting as someone else Gemini doesn't really shine as well as ChatGPT does next thing that you can do in marketing when it comes to Gemini or ChatGPT is asking it basically to respond to common questions that you might get from people on your social media so here We'll basically have this question that I get a lot for our business, which is basically, can you answer this question from a potential client? 
uh, and then I put on there an actual question of why only a full-time EA, I only need someone part-time. So I'll put the same ones here. So ChatGPT went ahead and wrote a very formal email basically of dear client so and so this is the reasons why you know full time works better dedication commitment comprehensive support so on and so forth and bard more wrote essentially a chat that you can send to someone i understand that you're currently interested i appreciate you reaching out and then here like limitations of part-time services offer alternative solutions emphasize the benefits of full-time EA so I like Bard's or Gemini's responses here a little bit better just because those are bite-sized and easy enough to send to someone else versus these these are more if they actually sent a whole email talking about like why why only full-time I just need a part-time EA so it's kind of the good differences for both depending on your use and where you're responding from you can use either ChatGPT or Gemini for those speaking of email you can also have ChatGPT or Gemini write up email templates for usual things that you need it for anyway. So I'll put here, can you write up an email template reply for those who are reaching out about the service? So here we have the long usual email from ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a little bit clunkier. It's a little bit more formal than if you're writing, you know, asking Gemini to do it. So let's compare actually to the two. Um, the first part is about the same. Gemini uh, versus operations at, okay. so. Honestly, they're a little bit the same. Um, set it around specific needs. Uh, support. These ask really good questions. I like that. I like Gemini's response a little bit here versus here. This is, of course, just call to action going into a call. So both can work, again, depending on your business and the time that you do have to maybe hop on a call with someone or just have them respond to your email. This is already a pretty good way to just write up emails again templates of basically replies to questions they usually get anyway and of course again i do like that the uh, add-on tips from gemini is are always helpful next is you can ask either gemini or chat gpt to go ahead and write up your frequently asked questions and then answers that you can put for them so here again because it has context in who i am and what we do I will just put here, can you generate a list of FAQs and objections potential clients might have? So here, you know, the usual, you know, what services do you have? What's the onboarding process for? Uh, can I choose specific skills, objections they might currently have? Uh, I like here for Gemini, it wrote out basically a little bit of the usual list of questions, but it didn't give us answers. So that is an interesting distinction between the two is that with Gemini, it just gave us the questions and objections but it didn't actually give us the thing to respond to versus for ChatGPT, it already did. So here I will have to put in one more prompt of give me the responses that I should do for each question or objection versus ChatGPT just already gave it to us. So yeah, that's basically kind of the, just the differences between the responses of the two. Now, the cool final thing that I like when it comes to either you're just using AI, whether it's ChatGPT or Gemini, is you can use either to create the documentation for your business. So what I mean by this is generating things like your setting point procedures or your assets so that it's easier for someone else to follow what it is that you are trying to implement in your business. So here we'll use this prompt of can you document the process in an SOP for mar uh, maintaining the marketing strategy? So here you have marketing strategy maintenance SOP, objective, responsibility, the frequency. So these are the weekly tasks. These are the multitasks, monitoring, reporting, and a month reporting. So I like that. Uh, see here, target audience. So marketing team, the frequency, tools and resources, the daily tasks, weekly, multitasks, quarterly tasks, and we have additional notes. So on here, I kind of like chat gpt a little bit better just because it's kind of the format we have anyway um versus bar just gave us very abrupt um and just quick things to kind of keep in mind on when basically looking at what are the weekly uh, monthly quarterly uh tasks so um this one chat gpt kind of wins but at the same time i can easily see of me just pasting copying from from gemini and then putting it into chat gpt as a way to do it so either way works again depending on your business and depending the outputs that you're trying to work towards either can work very easily so that is basically it on the differences between using the prompts that again we used last year for chat gpt for marketing versus gemini and also the changes that chat gpt has put in i can remember the first couple of outputs that i had last year when i did this video and it was very different very 
far in between versus now it has kind of honed down and not as clunky basically versus when it was when it was just a few months old so again whether you're using gemini or chat gpt either one works depending on your business what you want the main thing to keep in mind when it comes to just prompting is be as specific as possible give it as much context as you can because the more context that you give chat gpt or gemini the clearer also their responses are. And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what are the ways that you have used Gemini or ChatGPT for your marketing. And if you guys want more prompts, let me know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. Hope you guys have an amazing day and with that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!